the most valuable shipwreck in the world and the fight against the state of Florida, the Nuestra Señora de Atocha. A Spanish galleon was sailing from Havana, Cuba to Spain in September of 1622 when it was hit by a hurricane and sank with 40 tons of gold and silver and 70 tons of Colombian emeralds. Altogether, the cargo was valued at $450 million. Shortly following the disaster, Spanish authorities conducted a salvage operation that involved the diving bell and slaves, but given the depth and the ocean conditions, this task proved impossible. Mel Fisher lost a diver, his son, and his own wife searching for the wreck when their boat capsized when a bilge pump went out in the middle of the night and the boat overturned. After spending over 16 years searching for the wreck, Mel Fisher discovered the shipwreck on July 20th, 1985 off the Florida Keys. The state of Florida demanded a quarter percentage of the haul. The court case ultimately went to the U.S. Supreme Court in 1982. Mel Fisher claimed ownership of the treasure after finding it and beginning to sell off pieces of it to private collectors. However, the state of Florida argued the treasure was found in Florida waters and the state had the right to claim ownership. The Supreme Court held that Florida's claim was barred by the statute of limitations and that Fisher was the rightful owner. The case was significant because it established a precedent for ownership of shipwreck treasures in state waters.